My name is Jesse Narog and I'm a forester for Hancock Forest Management. I work in the North Cascades region. The major concept behind erosion control and stormwater management is to allow the water to go naturally down the hillside. By doing that, you're you're trying to stay out of the way of the water and let it run naturally. You don't want to force it down unnatural paths. So when you install a culvert, you want to install it in the draw so that it runs naturally down the hill. When you install cross drains, you install multiple cross drains uh, in order to not collect the water in a ditch and run it down the ditch where it can gain velocity and pick up erosion, sediment, and that sort of thing. You, you want to relieve the ditch as much as possible so you're not actively eroding it, carrying sediment. And then when you do dispose of the water, if it does have sediment on it or in it, you want to dispose of it onto the forest floor away from a stream system. There is a natural background sediment load in a stream and that's what fish use when they spawn. It's a natural occurring process. These are glacial rivers and glacial streams that have uh, a sediment background already. So it's not necessarily that we're, we're introducing that to the system. It, it's already there. So what we try to do is prevent additional sediment from entering anywhere. We're taking care of this in a sustainable fashion so that we can continue to have this resource forever. We can continue to harvest timber in a sustainable manner. We'll continue to have jobs in a sustainable manner. Uh, it's not a resource that just gets used up and disappears. It, it grows back. We're on our second and sometimes third rotations of timber out on these properties. So it's a sustainable system and the whole industry and the people that we work with understand that. <laughs>